friends how is everything going is it good okay i really hope you are good okay just like me now we will discuss about streets and villages in jakarta or streets and places in jakarta okay let's get it on Okay, sebelum kita masuk ke pelajarannya, before we enter the lesson, I want you to know that the goals. Saya mau kalian tahu tujuannya dulu. In the end of the lesson, the students are able to. Jadi di akhir pada pelajaran ini, kalian diharapkan bisa atau mampu untuk. Okay, number one. Mention famous streets and places in Jakarta Or mention famous streets and villages in Jakarta Jadi kalian mampu mengucapkan ya, Atau m- menyebutkan Nama jalan-jalan yang terkenal di Jakarta Atau tempat-tempat yang terkenal di Jakarta That's the first goal And then the second one Construct sentences using future tense Jadi kalian bisa mengkonstruksi atau membangun sebuah kalimat dengan menggunakan future tense. And then the last but not the least, I really hope that you can write and perform conversation using future tense. Jadi kalian bisa menulis, ya, mengucapkan, and perform, menampilkan conversation using by future tense. That's it. Next one. We will enter our activities today. Okay, the first activities. Jadi aktivitas pertama, listen and repeat. Dengarkan dan ulangi. I want you to listen to me and repeat after me. Saya mau kalian dengarkan setelah saya, lalu kalian ulangi. Right now, this time, saat ini juga. Let's get started. I will ride my bike to Sudirman Street. One more time. I will ride my bike to Sudirman Street. Okay, now it's your turn. Giliran kalian. I want to hear your voice. Saya mau dengar suara kalian. Excellent. Very good. Next one. Hmm. Who knows this place? Siapa yang tahu tempat ini? Hmm. Okay, Kampung Layu. Very good. The second sentence. I will visit my friend in Kampung Layu. One more time. I will visit my friend in Kampung Layu. It's your turn now. Liran kalian. Well done. Very good. Hey. Next one. Hmm. It's familiar to me. Listen to me. I will go to Terminal Kampung Rambutan. I will go to Terminal Kampung Rambutan. It's your turn now. Very good. Next one. Hmm? It seems so familiar to me. Maybe the place is near. Yeah? Okay. I will meet my friend in Pasarabo. Your turn. Very good. Let's repeat it again. I will meet my friend in Pasarabo. Your turn. Very good. Next one. Hmm. Who is he? Does he look like me? Mm, no, 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 no. I don't think so. He's more handsome than me. Yeah? Okay. I will have picnic in Ragunan Zoo. I will have picnic in Ragunan Zoo. Okay, giliran kalian.
Excellent. Very good. Hmm. You sounds like a native. Now let's get to our second activity. Mari kita lanjutkan ke aktivitas kita yang kedua, which is practice this conversation. Kita berlatih percakapan. Okay. I will give you three dialogue. Okay. I will give you three dialogue. I want you to practice. You can practice with your friend, with your family, maybe with your father, with your mother, with your brother, or your sister. Okay? Just practice. Okay, let's get dialogue one. There's Udin and Mama. Ada Udin dan Mama. Okay, Udin first. What will you do today, Mud? I will go to Sudirman Street. Do you know why the street is named General General Sudirman? Yes, it is named after our national hero. He is General Sudirman. Okay, student, gimana? Okay, can you do the conversation? Bisa kalian praktekkan percakapan ini? Yes, you can. Next one, dialogue two. There are Mina and Siti. Ada Mina dan Siti. Okay, Mina first. What will you do tomorrow, Siti? I will go to Matraman. Do you know why the place is named Matraman? Yes, it is named after the Mataram soldier attacked the Dutch colonials in Jakarta. Well, student, how that such sounds? It's not me. This, this, this is, there's a girl who's standing next to me. Okay. And the last dialogue. Let's get it on. This is the dialogue number three. And the last dialogue. There are Siti and Udin. Okay, Siti first. What will you do tonight, Udin? I will go to Kampung Melayu. Do you know why the place is named Kampung Melayu? Yes, it is named after many of the Melayu people lived there in the past. Okay, how that that sounds? Is it great? Yes, you can practice with your friend, your father, your mother, or your brother, or maybe your sister. Okay? Let's practice. Speak English. If you not do it right now, when will you go start to speak English? I don't think that writing is the best part of learning English. You must conquest the four skill. First, speaking, listening, writing, and reading. And speaking is the most important, I think. Yeah? Okay. Let's get the last part of this lesson for today. Yes, it's time for FYI for your information. This is informasi tambahan sonly, okay? Do you know the name of place and street in Jakarta has its own stories? Jadi apakah kalian tahu nama-nama tempat di jalan di Jakarta itu ternyata ada sejarahnya, ada ceritanya. Okay, let's get for the number one information. Kuitang. Do you know Kuitang? Tahu nama jalan Kuitang atau nama tempat? Okay, this area was once occupied by a rich Chinese landlord, Kuitang Kian. Apa sih artinya? Jadi area ini dulu pernah dikuasai oleh seorang tuan tanah yang kaya raya yang berkebangsaan Cina bernama Kuik Tang Kian. Nah, oke, okay. next one, Tanah Abang. The naming of the Tanah Abang area was given by Javanese Banten who work at Poa Bingham, a Chinese landlord. Oke, okay. jadi sama seperti Kuitang Jadi yang menamakan tanah bang itu diberikan oleh para pekerja yang berasal dari Banten, ya, yang bekerja kepada Po Bingham, seorang tuan tanah yang berkebangsaan Chinese atau seorang Cina, ya. 
Oke, okay, now Jagakarsa. The name Jagakarsa comes from the name of a warlord in the Mataram Kingdom of Yogyakarta in 1625, namely Raden Bagus Jagakarsa Suro Binangun. Jadi, nama Jagakarsa itu berasal dari seorang panglima dari Kerajaan Mataram ya, yang ada di Yogyakarta. Pada tahun 1625 Wow ya Udah lama sekali Ini zamannya kakek dan kakek dan kakek 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 dan nenek 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 Dan buyut buyut kalian ya Bernama Raden Bagus Jagakarsa Surobinangun hmm, Jadi nama tempatnya Jagakarsa Di sana jaga di Jakarta Selatan ya Oke okay, the last one Kemayoran The name Mayoran first appeared in 1816 in an advertisement for the Java Government Gazette as a land situated near relative Reden, Batavia. After that, the area was known as Kemayoran. Jadi, nama Kemayoran ini pertama muncul pada tahun 1816, 1916. Sekarang tahun 2020. Hitung sendiri ya, udah berapa tahun? Oke. Okay. Jadi muncul di sebuah iklan ya Java Government Gazette ini sebuah koran ya lalu yang tanah Mayoran ini berlokasi dekat dengan Wealth of Freedom Batavia ya sekarang Mister juga nggak tahu Wealth of Freedom di mana ya After that the area was known as Mayoran jadi setelah itu nama tersebut dikenal sebagai Kemayoran tapi ada juga yang bilang katanya di sana banyak tinggal orang-orang yang banyak pangkatnya mayor. I don't know. Uh, some people say like that. Some people like say like this. Uh, that's another stories. Okay, student. Thank you for today. Thank you for joining my lesson for today. Let's see you next time. Bye bye.